Okay, so now you got uh, merchandise, you got CDs, you've got a few gigs. Now you want to take your stage show to the next level. What can you do? Let's talk about it. What's up, everybody? Matt here, Music Scene Ohio, and you are watching A Weekly Rip, Chris Adams. Check it out. Hey, folks. Chris here, that trucking guitar player. Stage production. It's a topic that I personally like. <laughs> uh, I'm, I've been looking forward to this one for a little while. Uh, uh, far too often, you see bands that just get up on the stage, look at their shoes, look at the necks of their guitars, and it's just generally a boring show. It's, it's, eh. The bands that you remember and you focus on are ones that go that extra step. They have props. They have um, additional non-musical items on their stage that enhance their show and that's what you remember and it's not just for the big boys and girls of the music industry anybody can do it and it uh, takes your game to the next level um, it shows that you're putting in an effort and you really don't have to do much uh, to start that process. You can go down to Walmart and buy a cheap strobe light and incorporate that. I've seen that many times. In fact, the first band I worked for, uh, that's what they had. They had a strobe light that sat behind the drummer. You know, another thing you can do is uh, if you're particularly handy with uh, uh, power tools uh, you can make ego boxes you know those boxes that you can step up step up onto sometimes they have a light in them that light up when you step on it uh, just stupid little things like that you know you can add uh, drapery to over your uh, guitar cabinets that have your uh, band logo on it um, or even step that up and put those drapes on a frame. You know, I've seen that a few times too, and I always thought that was pretty cool. And you can step that up even further by adding a black light. You know, uh, paint your logo in white and add a black light to the bottom of it so it uh, glows purple. I uh, always thought that was pretty neat too. Or you can go all psychedelic and use uh, day glow color paints uh, on your banner and use that same black light for a really trippy visual you know and if you know the venue that you're going to has uh, not a lot of lights you can bring your own lights and plug them in and, and utilize them um, lights can be expensive but you can get relatively cheap ones too and when I say relatively cheap they really are relatively cheap um, but it's a start. I'll give you an example of a relatively cheap light that you can add to your uh, setup as we 
take a journey to my basement. We're coming inside because it's starting right outside. So anyway, I also will give you the opportunity to see the little things that I have. There's an example of, of what I'm talking about. <coughs> Color changing light that I think I paid, I don't know, 20 bucks for. But, you know, it does what it needs to do. Another example of something that I get, uh, that I have that, that actually, uh, as you can tell, is sound activated. I got that uh, for Christmas this past year. Even something as stupid and silly as rope light. I think I got that for, I don't know, five bucks last summer. You know, back to the ego box idea. What you can do with that is you can just have a basic box, which is fine. You know, paint it black or put your band logo on it. <coughs> That'll work. But if you want to step up your game, have it set so that when you step on it, or your singer, or your guitar player, or whatever, steps on it, there's a light inside that lights up. And, you know, you get a uh, uh, go to go to your local hardware store and, and get all this stuff. And I would uh, seriously consider using three quarter inch marine grade plywood uh, for that for a couple reasons. One, it's it's strong and it's heavy, and marine grade means it's water resistant. Meaning, if somebody spills a drink on it, which is inevitably going to happen, it's not going to be damaged. A sheet of three-quarter inch marine grade would be about $35, but you can get two boxes out of it, uh, maybe more. Um, so therefore, you know, it, it, in my mind, I think it's worth it. You know, and then uh, get yourself a, a, a sheet of a, a half inch uh, plexiglass. Well, maybe not even that thick. But it, it needs to be strong enough that when you step on it, it doesn't flex. Um, and I'll explain here in a minute. But put that on top. That, uh, that way the light shines through it. Uh, the reason why I said make sure it's thick enough that it doesn't flex when you step on it is I've seen it happen. Uh, plexiglass isn't cheap. Uh, a 2 by 4 piece will cost you about 20 bucks I think. Anyway when you step on it it flexes and your, your pressure switch doesn't uh, activate properly. So you need to make sure it's thick enough uh, to to withstand that that flex. You know, um, and a pressure switch, I don't know, cost you a couple bucks, if even that much. Um, wire to an outlet that when uh, it's activated, it gives power to that outlet, um, and therefore your your light will come on. You also might want to brace that uh, plexiglass as well, you know, because you know, you don't want to fall through it. Taking that one step further, what you can do is um, instead of using plexiglass, use uh, uh, some sort of grate, you know, metal grate uh, that has openings in it, which I think one make it a neat effect and two stepping your game up further you can add a small fog machine inside your ego box you know I, I think that would be kind of a cool effect too with the opening in the grates the fog coming up out of the box and the light I think that'll make a neat effect and um, you know you can get a fog machine for about 30 bucks um, you can get a cheap spotlight. Um, I'll show you an example here in a second. <clears throat> you know, uh, you don't have to pay a lot of money for a spotlight. I mean, this one here, I think I paid ten bucks for. I'm not even sure I got it 
at one of the big box uh, uh, stores, uh, lumber stores. So, you know, it wasn't, didn't break my arm. But, you know, you can set it up in there. You can attach it with uh, clamps. And then you can put it however you want. You know, set it like this, so it shines up, you know, or whatever. It's a little handy little thing. So anyway, you know, those are just some ideas. Um, be creative. Come up with your own. Um, and have fun. Now, with all that being said, we'll talk to you next week.